And I bring those in the house when the power goes out. Uh, so yeah, it's a great idea. Also, uh, like the solar-powered lanterns. Walmart has a lot of solar stuff. Uh, not in their camping gear section where their sports stuff is, but if you go out to where they have their uh, patio furniture and stuff, uh, they have some aisles out there of like uh, gardening and stuff, and they have a lot of solar stuff with the garden stuff. Uh, solar kind of lighting and stuff. That's what you want to use. Uh, because if the electric's out, the electric's out. Uh, and so you want to get some kind of something that can be depended on is solar. Solar energy. And so it's a heads up on that. Uh, also with the, with the bullets, uh, 9 millimeter, 38, you know, the, the, the hollow point bullets, a 50, 50 caliber can't remember it. I try to bring it up every once in a while in honor of the man who was trying to warn everybody about encouraging people to buy 50 caliber rifles uh, because these 50 calibers will take down a helicopter. And he had a website online or something, and he used to promote it in, on the line all the time. And he was uh, thrown in prison. They wanted to shut him up and get rid of him. Uh, and so they, they filed these fictitious charges against him and threw him in prison just to get him to shut up. And I always like to remember the people that have basically given their lives to, to saving other people, uh, like William Bill Cooper. And I'll have an ad on my website to, you know, promoting his book. Uh, and I'll bring up Phil Schneider a lot, uh, who was a warrior who died warning people about Dulce Base uh, and his underground joint alien human bases. He had, he had brought a lot of awareness to that. Uh, and then this gentleman who's in prison, I can't even remember his name, but the Lord knows who I'm talking about. Um, and so, uh, who had been encouraging people to buy these 50 caliber rifles. Uh, now these 50 calibers are, are like seven or 8,000 apiece. So I don't know a whole lot of people they can afford them. I certainly can't. Uh, but just things, uh, you know, because somebody, you know, you know, I'd like to see these helicopters come over here in a time of martial law. If I had a 50 caliber, I'd, I'd blast them out of the sky. Uh, they're so low to the ground, it almost makes you wonder if a 12 gauge wouldn't even just hit the thing. Uh, or getting a 30 out 6, which is a civilian sniper rifle. Uh, it's a civilian version of the military sniper rifle. It will go seven miles, I've heard. Uh, and so that obviously could probably hit a, hit one of these UFO uh, not UFOs, but these helicopters. Uh, because I've warned people ever since Katrina that not all of these pilots of these helicopters are human. Uh, especially uh, after saying that two years ago on the air during my show with Reality Radio Network when they used to host and sponsor my show, they hosted it. Uh, and hearing from people from Katrina after I had told them about this, I mentioned it on the air that these pilots weren't human. Uh, dogs just going erratic and crazy every time these helicopters are coming in their area. Because dogs, you will get a response from animals when Satan is around. When demonic beings are around or aliens are around, dogs and animals will go berserk. They'll go crazy. They hate them because they know they're evil. Uh, and so that's a good test of knowing exactly what's piloting the helicopter over your house. Watch your dog. You know, watch the reaction of your animals. Um, and not necessarily, you know, like horses, because, you know, if a helicopter's buzzing around them, they tend to go frantic anyway. Uh, but dogs, in particular. If you don't have a dog, you might want to get a dog. Dogs will keep uh, these beings at bay away from your house. And they'll also let you know when they're around. Uh... Some of these black phantoms, these tall, demonic beings, um, they're not alien, they're demonic, and they will stand outside your homes at night and look through your windows, and they're about 10 feet tall. Uh, a dog will bark when they're around. Uh, don't necessarily keep them away unless the dog's loose. Uh, and so if you have your dog tied up and you hear it barking, it's not always just barking at a squirrel or something, folks. Uh... And I actually like to get a fenced-in area and just the dogs run loose at night. Uh, that way they would just stay out of the yard completely, demonic and alien beings. Uh, and even these uh, cloaked military beings, they may be invisible, but they're not silent. You can hear them, you can 
you know, they cough, they, they talk, they, they break twigs when they walk, you can hear them. And so, just, uh, you know, Satan's bag of tricks, all these different ways of, and things he can do. Uh, and, you know, people like me just sitting back waiting and looking uh, and getting heads up uh, from the Lord and other people on how you can combat these things and, and what you can do use in a defense for yourself and your family. Uh, because in, and that is the Lord taking care of you uh, by leading you to people that will tell you what to do to protect yourself, folks. These are our arcs. <laughs> you know, I don't know how much clearer I can say it, uh, because the Lord uses people to fulfill the things that He says He's going to do. Uh, and, it, and it goes in every way, not just for the bad things, but for the good things as well. I'm going to check this real quick, and then I'm just going to end the show. I think they're going to crash the dollar real soon. Uh... Yeah, I mean, that goes without saying. That will probably be one of the biggest things, the starting martial law is the crash dollar. So, yeah, folks, buy things while you can because it's not going to help you later uh, to have money and there's nothing to buy. Another thing from what I have heard is that reptilians hate us. One guy says, if by some chance you run into one, do not attack it. Just run if you have a chance. If you try to kill it, he says to cut the head. If you can, I'll stab one or two of their hearts are located on their armpits. Uh, I've always had the feeling just blow their heads off. Uh, now, are going to help in any if you have a timer, or should we just run like hell? Uh, if you have a gun, shoot their head off. Uh, if you have Orgo, they probably won't want to come near you. It aggravates them. It irritates them. Uh, just people who are possessed by demonic beings. If you have, the, like, I, I've seen the effect of Orgo pendants on demonically possessed people. They break out in boils from the Orgo pendant. That's from the demonic sources that are possessing those people. And so eventually they'll just have to leave that person. Uh, but the thing is, it tortures the person that's wearing the pendant. Uh, these alien beings don't like the Oregon, uh, but they can have like a quick tolerance, like a two or three second tolerance uh, time span of being around it. And so definitely would have Oregon. But if I was out walking around and a reptilian walked up to me, I'd, I'd, sh I'd blow its head off. <laughs> I'd shoot it first and get it down and then blow its head off. Uh, you know, we're, we're, we're David against the Goliaths out here, folks. We're going to be about <laughs> a couple hundred thousand Davids running around. You know, it's just going to get, uh, and all this being towards the, the trumpet judgments and on, uh, the sixth seal on, actually. And so we have some time to prepare we're probably at about the third horseman, the third seal kind of floating in between there, folks, uh, the, the third and fourth, because when the fifth seal hits, uh, no one's going to be paying attention because they're going to be worried about sparing their lives from these FEMA camps that are going up, these internment camps, uh, and charting people off to their deaths. So, you know, the fifth seal, uh, very clearly martial law here in America and, and perhaps Israel itself as well. And so that's uh, where we are, folks, anywhere between the third and fourth. Because uh, once the fifth comes, it's going to pretty much be time to bunker down uh, and hide, uh, especially from martial law, uh, protecting your family from being put on these trains by soldiers, uh, and them hunting down the big miles and stuff. And so just doing what the Lord wants you to do is, is if he tells you to hide, hide. If he tells you to go somewhere, go somewhere. So you got to learn to hear his voice now, folks, and recognize how he works and how he leads and how he talks to you. Anyway, until next week, folks, hope you have a blessed week. I know I've had a good time tonight just talking to all of you and, and being with the Lord's people. Uh, until next week, everybody, y'all bless.